Hello friends. In this video, we will see how to use Matrix Setu VTAP as ISDN gateway. Setu VTAP is a compact, dedicated and feature-rich T1 even PRI to VoIP gateway. It is a single span gateway offering 30 simultaneous ISDN PRI to VoIP calls. This inline device placed between IPPBX and ISDN network connects IPPBX users to the ISDN network for cost effective communication. Let us take a scenario where Setu VTAP works as ISDN gateway for IPPBX. Setu VTAP is installed with a service provider PRI line. The service provider is providing 100 DDI numbers and these numbers must be mapped with the extensions of IPPBX. The IPPBX is connected to Setu VTAP over a peer to peer VoIP link. In this scenario, the IP address of Setu VTAP is 192.168.55.79. and the ip address of ippbx is 192.168.55.250 let us see the configuration in this scenario we will complete the configuration in three steps creating peer to peer link isdn to ip call routing ip to isdn call routing let us start with the first step Login to GUI of Setu Vita. Go to basic settings followed by SIP trunk. Enable the SIP trunk you want to configure. Select SIP trunk mode as peer to peer as we want to establish peer to peer SIP trunk connectivity between Setu VTAP and IPPBX. Proxy mode is used in server client VoIP link for example ITSP that is internet telephony service provider calling. go to peer to peer table peer to peer table will determine the destination ip address against the number dialed configure the ip address of ippbx that is 192.168.55.250 against no match found option so that the call will go to the ippbx for any number dialed over the configured set trunk allowed ip address for incoming sip message field determines the trusted ip addresses setu vtap will accept incoming calls only from these trusted ip addresses There are three options available. As per trusted IP address table option will allow incoming calls only from the IP addresses mentioned in the trusted IP address table. As per peer to peer table option will allow incoming calls only from the IP addresses mentioned in the peer to peer table. Any option will allow incoming calls from any IP address. We will select as per peer to peer table option. To forward the caller ID received on T1 even port to SIP trunk, set SIP ID in from header of invite message field as caller ID received on source port.
This completes the first step. Let us start with the second step. Go to basic settings followed by T1 event port. Go to handling of incoming calls and select the appropriate method. Port wise to apply the same call routing method on all channels. Channel number wise to apply different call routing methods for each channel. MSN or DDI number wise to apply a different call routing method for each MSN that is multiple subscriber number. We will select port wise routing. Go to advanced settings. Select the destination extension number in the route all incoming calls with CLI and route all incoming calls without CLI fields. There are following options available. To the fixed destination number, on the basis of calling party number, on the basis of DDI number, to the called party number after answering the call and collecting the digits. Let us see the working of all the options. To the fixed destination number, calls will be routed to a predefined fixed destination number. On the basis of calling party number, Calls will be routed to the destination number depending upon the calling party that is caller to destination number mapping. On the basis of DDI number, calls will be routed as per the DDI that is direct dial in logic configured. This option is used in the case of service provider PRI. To the called party number, calls will be directly routed to the destination number dialed by the caller without going through the operator. This option is used in case of PBX tie-up. After answering the call and collecting the digits, Setu VTAP will answer the call, provides the dial tone and allows the caller to dial the desired number. We will select on the basis of DDI number in this field. Go to advanced settings to configure DDI number table. We can configure up to 1000 DDI numbers and map them against the extension numbers of IPPBX. Click DDI number generation to configure the entire range of DDI numbers all at once. Enter total DDI numbers coming from the service provider. Enter start index number which is the starting serial number of table from which you want to start entering the entries. Enter start DDI number that is the first DDI number coming from the service provider. Enter start destination number that is the first destination extension number of the IPPBX. Check apply reverse DDI for all DDI numbers to map the calling extension number with the respective DDI numbers at the time of outgoing calls. Click apply. The entire range of 100 DDI numbers will be automatically mapped to the 100 extensions of IPPBX that is 3001 to 3100. Select the destination port in select destination port for routing calls field. There are following options available, fixed, on the basis of destination number, on the basis of calling party number. Let us see the working of all these options. Fixed, call will be routed to a fixed trunk irrespective of calling number and destination number. On the basis of destination number, Setu VTAP will select the destination trunks based on numbers dialed by the caller.
on the basis of calling party number setu vtap will select the destination trunks depending upon the calling party that is caller to destination trunk mapping we will select fixed in this field select the configured peer to peer sip trunk as the destination port This completes the second step. Let us start with the third step. Go to basic settings followed by SIP trunk. Go to handling of incoming calls. Select route all incoming calls with CLI and route all incoming calls without CLI as to the called party number. Select destination port for routing calls as fixed with t1 even port as outgoing trunk with this we complete the configuration thank you for watching this video For further queries and support contact Metris Technical Support Team For more videos go to our YouTube channel Metrics Comsec